In this video, I wanted to talk about an interesting element in PowerPoint. Uh, this is also available in 2010. I'm using PowerPoint 2013. Is that you can take the outline that you have done in Microsoft Word and you can use it to create your PowerPoint slides automatically. So I have this uh, Word file in which uh, I've got these different things here. So I've got a point one, some words, a sub point, and then point two, and so on and so forth. So what you have to do is the point one, you have to make it heading one style. The sub points, you have to make it heading two. And a sub point of a sub point, you will make it heading three. So this is just the way you would do it with a table of contents. And I've done a video in Microsoft Word about table of contents if you wanted to know more about it. Because this is what will be used by PowerPoint to understand what should be the heading. Now in some other versions, you may find that these paragraphs will interfere with your PowerPoint. Because you don't want the paragraphs in your PowerPoint. You only want the headings. So there is a quick way of dealing with this. This is also a good thing to know for other things. So I highlight this paragraph and in Word I go to the select button and I will click on select all text with similar formatting and when I do that you'll find that you see all the paragraphs have been highlighted. And now you can delete them so that it won't be part of this file. Now make sure that you save your original file with the new file name so that you don't lose your original ideas and then you can save it as a different file name. But in 2013 it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to close this. And also uh, before I do that if I go to view there is an option called outline. So here you see the main points are here and then the sub points are here. So you can click on the sub points and then you can use this arrow to demote it or you can even promote it to being a main point. So this is a quick way of dealing with your outlines. You can promote things and you can promote it all the way up to heading one if you want it. So this will be a faster way of doing things too. I can close this and I'll also close Microsoft Word. Now to add these outlines to my PowerPoint I in the home in the new slide drop down button there is an option called slides from outline. Now you can use it from here or from insert new slide slides from outline. So either way I'm going to click on it then I'm going to double click on the file that has my outline. So in this case it's here I'll double click it and now let's see. So you see now it's added the point one and then the sub points are underneath here point two, point three, point four and so on and so forth. And then I can put my title here and then whatever the name is. So that's it. So this way a lot of your work will be done automatically. Now the next thing I wanted to talk about in this video is how you can save your PowerPoint as a video. So before I do that, I'm just going to go to design and I'll add some design elements. So maybe just pick something. I'll pick this one. So it is added. And uh, I'll also do a practice of slideshow and I'll rehearse the timing. So this is when you can set it to change automatically so that when you make a video, it will have the setting. So I can click on it. And now this is where on the top I'll go through the arrows because I don't want to give it too many times. So I'm just going to give it a, min a second. I talked about this in the earlier videos. So I'm just giving it a second and I'm changing it. So it says it's going to take 12 seconds and I'm like yeah that's fine. I'll say yes to it. And you can also use this to record your narration. So you know there is options in here where you can even record your sound on it. So when you click here where it says record slideshow, you can start recording from beginning. So you can actually record your voice in it if you wanted it. So now when you are ready, you've done all your settings and your um, animations and everything. Now you can go to file and then you go to export. Now before I do that, let me save this file because I haven't saved this presentation. I'll save it to my computer somewhere. I'll give it a name. I'll just call it title, that's fine. 
and now I'll go back to file export and then from here you can export it for, to create handouts package presentation for a CD but we're gonna do create a video you can also create a PDF file so I'll click on create a video and then from here the first thing you can choose is what quality of a video do you want you want a high definition which is large, which is really good for like big screen monitors and projectors or you know this is a standard DVD which will be medium size or portable devices so you can on your handheld devices so it's a small size I'll just use the medium one for now and then you can also get to choose whether you want to use your recorded timing so you know I've set my recorded timings one or two seconds and you can also redo another one if you wanted it now if you didn't have one you can actually use this setting which says that put five seconds on each slide so you don't have to worry about doing record narrations it will do it for you for now I'll just use that and I'll click create video and now it will start the process and I'll just give it a name PowerPoint video and it's giving you two options here to choose the save as type you can save as type as MPEG4 which is a very good standard for the internet or you can save it as a Windows media format the Windows media so I'll just leave it as MPEG4 and I'll just say save it in the documents folder because I don't want to go looking for it and I'll hit save now it will start the conversion process and you see in the bottom you can see the bar going in the center on the bottom part and it's almost getting done because this is not a long one so it doesn't take that much time now I'll actually go to where the video is so I'll open my documents folder so I'm in my my documents and I'll double click on this PowerPoint video and now we should launch the video with the slides so there it is and it should start playing it and it should also change because it's only a 12 seconds video and it is changing it so you can even burn this on a DVD and give it to people and it might even play it on the DVD player and if you had sounds on it it will have the sounds running in the background so all of those settings will be there if you had done it so this was the two things that I wanted to talk about and there was one more thing I will do later which will be on custom animation but I want to talk a little bit more about it as to how you can do that thank you for watching I hope you found this useful